Please note, technically now with a 6 inch plain tile installation such as this, you should really be using the new Velux EDP flashing set. At the time of making this video, this flashing set was not available and as such is shown with the EDZ flashing set. This does not mean however it will compromise the window or leak if installed properly. These EDZ style flashing sets are still used for these tiles with other manufacturers such as Duratec, Rooflite, Neato and some own brand DIY Superstore roof windows. Before you start, plan your site for your proposed Velux. Think carefully about the impact on any timbers, wiring and plumbing as well as how you want it to look from the inside. Here we are going to show you a standard install to a plain tiled roof. This is the ceiling directly underneath the Velux site that will be affected. Here is the view from the inside of the roof. The Velux will sit between the two trusses on the left and right with the centre truss being cut out where required. First the tiles are removed with a flat pry bar. A lifting and twisting motion should get you started. Once you have cleared the site of tiles you will see the shape of the wooden trusses underneath the felt, laths and timber. Poke a hole in the felt to give you a guide to work with from the inside. Using the light from the hole you poked in earlier, cut out the felt to expose the install site. This is what you see inside the main Velux box, the window itself, the instructions and some window trims. Open the window to familiarise yourself with the mechanism and take careful note of how the window separates from the frame itself. Now press the release clips and remove the window from the frame. The window and frame are now separate. This allows much easier access to the frame and helps to keep the double glaze unit safe. Now you need to mark out the install site onto the timber laths so you can cut them either with a tape measure or by placing the frame in position onto the timber itself. Here we have allowed 20mm all around the window as per instructions. And again 20mm at the top as well as the bottom. At this stage it's a good idea to gently fold back the under tileless felt or membrane out of the way to avoid any damage. This way you can refit the felt around the window if you haven't damaged it. If it's ripped or damaged, don't worry, you can always fit some felt in later by slipping it underneath the laths before nailing the laths back down as pictured here. Please note, this was not necessary in our video as another contractor was insulated internally at a later stage. Now the laths have been cut back we will remove the fouling section of the truss. As you can see, the fouling part of the truss has been removed so we can move on to putting the supporting timbers back in. Here a section of 3x2 or 75mm by 50mm timber is fixed between the sides of the two trusses and fixes into the end grain of the cut middle truss with 4 inch or 100 mm screws. You can see from the inside the fixing through one of the trusses into the new section of 3x2. And here it is again fixed in place. Then do the same thing with the bottom of the window and another piece of 3x2. The two side pieces can be cut and fixed into the timber pieces you have just fitted. The end of the last should finish nicely with the edge of your new side timbers. Now we can re-nail the laths to the freshly inserted timbers. Fit the metal corner brackets to the Velux frame. These screw into pre-cut grooves as shown. Use the fixing pack that came in the main Velux box. 
The frame can now be fitted in position. If you need to add additional timber to support it, you can use some of the lath you cut out earlier, again fixed with the screws from the main Velux box. You should now have a nice sturdy frame with an even gap all around the outside. Next, tile up to the underneath of the frame ready for the bottom flashing to be fitted. Time to break out the tile flashing pack. This consists of two side flashings, a bottom flashing, a top flashing and clips for fixing the side flashings. OK, so here's the bottom flashing fixed, complete with a window trim that came in the main Velux box. Now put both side flashings on and fix with the clips supplied. The clips are fitted like this and allow you to keep the flashings tight down to the laths. Please note, the tabs can now be bent over. Now the two side window trims and the two upper window trims from the main Velux pack can be fitted. Next fit the top window trim, again from the main Velux pack. Now slip the top flashing into place and bend down the tab shown. OK, so now it's time to start fitting the tiles in earnest. If like us, in this case, you're fitting small plain tiles, it's nice to use tile and a halves. These stop any small tiles having to be cut and the nails puncturing through the flashings underneath. Tile and a halves can be bought from any good tile or roofing merchant. Here you can see the tiles fitted up to the tile stop. Any excess foam can be cut off to allow the tiles to seat without distorting the foam underneath. Eve's tiles are now rested on the adjustable triangular bar. With the lugs fitting nicely over the flashing itself, slide the bar up and down to get the correct angle. Then simply lock into place with the strap supplied. Although this guide isn't designed to tell you how to apply inner studding and plastering, here is the completion of this job for you to have a look at. In this case, the customer asked for a slightly more complicated flare tunnel design, the benefit being it lets in approximately 50% more light than a parallel tunnel design. However, once decorated, either will look great. Well, once again that brings another project to an end. I hope this video has helped in some way and thanks for watching.